Good morning guys, happy Sunday. It's Sunday today but this vlog will be over a few days because I thought I'd do a little vlog about giving blood. So I'm due to give blood on Thursday which will be after group so if you burn any calories giving blood it probably won't do me any good weight loss wise but uh, I thought it'd be really interesting to try and video what I can of giving blood and the process um, try and try and describe what it's like to give blood um, how I feel um, and just hopefully inspire a couple of other people to maybe go and do the same so I became a blood donor um, when I was a teenager um, late teens and I lived in Sheffield at that time um, and I did it about 10 times because I do have an old card that says 10 donations so I know I did it at least 10 times gave blood and it was in a leisure centre at that time um, and there was lots of people there and I really I actually enjoyed it but I did see it as another opportunity to eat um, all the biscuits and stuff at the end um, but yeah it was it's you know you get chatting to people and it's it's really nice and you, you feel like you're really doing something and I wanted to give blood because I've always watched medical programs such as 999 and now it's 24 hours in A&E and all sort of medical documentaries like that and I know that there is a real big de demand and need for blood donors and all these emergencies and accidents that happen people out there need blood and also people with leukemia and other conditions such as that regularly um, need blood and ch there's children out there with conditions that mean they regularly need donated blood and other platelets and things like that so if it's something you feel like you can do then please look into it. Uh, I also was a medical secretary for a time so I've always had an interest in that side of things. I've always had an interest in helping people and I was even on the um, Anthony Nolan uh, register for a while but because I've always been overweight for bone marrow because I've always been overweight I could never actually donate bone marrow so maybe that's um, something that I might actually look into when I get more to back to a normal weight so yeah there, it's always in places like churches or leisure centres or there's bound to be something near you or I believe there's mobile units that come round to workplaces or things like that so just put your your postcode in or your um, work postcode and you'll probably find something that's near to you and they're all really really welcoming, really grateful, they'll have a chat with you they'll explain every procedure to you um, you know and it's, it's, there's nothing to be if you are scared of needles then yeah maybe don't, maybe don't do it but um, there's nothing, other than that there's nothing to be scared of, it doesn't hurt in my opinion it's not very painful um, they're, they're actually a lot better at, at taking blood than the local GP surgery um, and you can choose which arm you want it taken from they're very communicative so if you um, give your mobile number, your home number, your email address and, and your postal address they will communicate really well with you uh, you'll get texts reminding you of your appointment you'll get an email reminding you of your appointment um, and you'll get about a week before you'll get a letter um, this is slightly different because this is the repeat blood done questionnaire so when if on your first time it'll be slightly different uh, but you'll get a little questionnaire to fill in and it's really important that you're truthful on this um, and it'll just ask you about medical conditions and medication you've taken and um, what I find is actually if you complete this the night before or even on the day 
because it'll ask you if you've taken any um, medications such as ibuprofen or paracetamol and obviously if you filled it in a week before then that's not going to be um, true to life so you'll get questions such as in this case it says in the last seven days have you taken any aspirin painkillers anti-inflammatories etc if it's your first one the questions will be slightly different um, and, the, and the questions will say have you ever and, and in this one it says since your last donation and it's asking things like have you tested positive for HIV, have you had hepatitis, have you been given money or drugs for sex, have you been told that you should no longer be given blood, have you seen a doctor, have you had any addition or change to your prescribed med medicines, have you had a piercing, have you had acupuncture, um, things like that it will ask you. So it's really important that you're truthful and I would recommend that you um, complete that the, like the the night before or the day of your donation so that you can be as accurate and truthful as possible and you get some information on this side about how you can check if you're eligible and why you, you must not give blood if certain conditions apply so you can check all that out and all this will be available on the website which is blood.co.uk I will link that in the comments below and you can give them a ring and have a chat and this side is for the nurse to complete when you go in. So I'll tell you a little bit about the process and hopefully I will be able to vlog. Obviously when I'm vlogging um, I've, I'll probably only have one hand free and I'll have to be careful about other people's privacy and things like that. Um, so it may not be the best quality filming but I will try my best. They do recommend that you drink plenty of water on the day of your donation and also when you go in and wait for your turn they will provide water and juice for you to drink and it's no added sugar so that's good for slimming, us Slimming Worlders. Um, the first thing you will do after you've waited is have your finger prick test um, which will test your iron level and you'll have a chat with the nurse and she'll look over your form and if you have filled anything in such as painkillers she will ask you why and what you took it for obviously all it is it's no there's no criticism on you all it is is just to check i think there must be certain reasons certain people they can't can't give your blood to if you have taken painkillers or ibuprofen so that's all it is um you will then eventually get to lie in a chair that sort of comes up, so you sort of lie in supine. Um, you'll get your injection into your arm. They used to offer a numbing, numbing injection first, but um, I don't believe they offer that unless you ask. But in my opinion, the numbing injection um, actually hurts as much as the injection to to put the tube in to take the blood um, so in my opinion um, there's no point in having it because it, it hurts the same uh, then they will fill up two or three little vials with blood for testing and then they'll start the actual donation um, and that will take about 15 minutes and you're given a ball or something or told to um, move your fingers like this oh and you've got a cuff like a blood pressure cuff around the top of your arm um, and then comes the best bit when you finish your donation you get to sort of lay there for 10 to 15 minutes just completely chilling out and then you're offered the drink and biscuits um, and I still find that there is still no excuse to go off plan because you can look up the sins for the biscuits that are there or you can take your own, I usually take two hi-fi bars um, and my own fruit tea because I prefer my fruit tea uh, I even took my own mug last time so that I could have a big cup of fruit tea and there was no blinking at all they just gave me my hot water and I sat there chatting with my hi-fi bar and they usually do ask you if you'd like to make your next appointment there and then 
uh, while you're having your cup of tea. So that's what I do and so far it's been about twice a year. So I've done, this will be my fourth donation since I started again uh, and I'm, I'm really really happy and as you'll know, um, I think I've mentioned this, it's thanks to Slimming World that I'm able to give blood again because uh, when I started Slimming World I was 26 stone 7 pounds which is 171 pounds and the limit for giving blood is 150 pounds so when I went um, I had already lost some weight so thankfully I was el eligible and I wasn't turned away so this will be my fourth donation thanks to Slimming World. Um, I don't find that there's any after effects for me um, no dizziness or anything like that. Um, I feel completely well and just happy that I've done it. Um, you'll just get a small plastic plaster on your in your el in, on your in your elbow. There may be some slight bruising, um, but as I say, uh, for me there's no after effects. And eventually you'll get a text if you've given them your number. You'll get a text where your blood has been used. So that's a really, really good idea. Hopefully I'll be able to show you all this process. Um, and if you have any questions, please put them below. I will link the blood donor website in the box. Um, so let me know what you think and I will show you the process now. Hi guys, so I am here at my local church, ready to give blood. I have my form ready to hand in, all completed. Um, I did take some painkillers over the weekend, so I have filled that in accordingly, and the nurse will ask me about that, but I will explain more about that as we go along. So, shall we go and see what the process is for giving blood? After you've handed your form in, the first thing you'll be asked to do is take a seat and drink some water, which is provided with juice if you want it and you'll be asked to read this booklet. So you get five minutes peace with a drink and something to read. So as I say the first step was speaking to a nurse in a booth, very private. You'll get asked all the questions um, and you'll get your finger prick test for your iron and just a few minutes to clarify um, anything that you've ticked yes to or anything, like I say any medications that you've taken and the prick test doesn't hurt at all and you just keep the plaster or the bit of gauze pressed to your finger to stop the bleeding and you'll be asked to sit down until a chair for donating blood becomes free. The nurse has just been to see me and I'm laying on my um, chair as you can see it's like a reclined chair and um, I'm giving blood now so if you are squeamish or don't like needles then look away um, so I have a blood pressure cuff on and I have my line going down to the pack sorry I can't show you very well because obviously I've just got one hand and it's 20 to 7 so I will time how long it takes to fill up a pint of blood and you're advised to keep slowly squeezing your hand um, while you're donating. So I'll give you another look of the needle in the arm. Did not hurt really at all, just one, um, one slight prick and it's, just, it's not really that painful. So I will let you know how I get on. That took about 10 minutes, 10-15 10, minutes to uh, give blood. You're, asked, you're given a um, small piece of gauze to hold on, that's why I, c I couldn't film because I only had one hand and that one hand to hold onto my plaster while it uh, stops the stems of bleeding. So now I have got a plaster and a small roll of um, cotton wool. The roll you keep on for half an hour and the plastic you keep on for 12 hours. Let's go and get a cup of tea. Straight away they've made me another appointment. So um, my next appointment will be in November. So that's, what's that, about three months between 
three or four months between donations, that's absolutely fine with me. I'm going to sit and enjoy my high fi bar and my fruit tea. Uh, they're all really, really nice. I'm not feeling any ill effects. Um, you get given a little um, booklet to read and your appointment will be written on your letter or they'll just give you a slip of paper for your next appointment. So I have a fruit tea, I've got my own cup and my own um, tea bag and my own sweeteners and I brought two hi-fi bars so I can stay on plan but the um, selection of biscuits you can have and drinks is quite wide. You've got um, digestives, all different packets of biscuits, you've got Oreos, you've got custard cream, you've got penguin bars, milk and sugar and stirrers, and um, club biscuits, so there's plenty of choice, even for a swimming morning you could look up the sins for these things. But I'm going to sit and enjoy my high fi bar and coffee. Uh, fruit tea. Good evening guys, so I'm back at home after finishing my donation and my enjoying my fruit tea and my hi-fi bars. I hope that's uh, explained to you what it's like to go and give blood and shown you the process um, and inspired you if it's something that you're thinking about. If you've got any questions or comments then put them below. Um, I feel fine, I've had no after effects, I've still got my little, I can show you a little bit better now, the dressing that they put on. So it's just a plaster, they tell you to keep the plaster on for 12 hours and they roll for half an hour so that can actually probably come off now. Um, no, no after effects for me personally, they've arranged my next donation for, the, for November so that's about 5 months between donations. As I say, any questions, please put them below. Um, I hope you're all hope you've all enjoyed this vlog. Thank you for watching, and do something amazing today. Give blood. These are the texts that I've received during my blood donation. So the day before, you get a text that says, "Hi, to help keep you well, please remember to drink plenty of water before you come to give blood today. We look forward to seeing you later. Many thanks." And then the day after your blood donation, you get a text that says, Thank you for coming to donate. Your support is so important in helping us to save and improve lives. Every donation counts. And then in the weeks or months after your donation, you'll get a text saying where your donation went to. So mine, say, mine came yesterday and it says, Thank you so much for donating on 6th of July. Your donation has now been issued to York District Hospital. Every donation counts. So I think that's really good uh, that you get told where your blood was used. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching.